So good morning guys and girls It's Monday, first Monday back for us after holiday It's not as cold as it was on our first day Or maybe we've just climatised a little bit I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you For everyone showing support on the last video Really does mean so much to us Thank you for that Everyone's liked the video and again, thank you for that. So if we could like this video, let's aim for 2,700 likes. That would mean so much to us. And also, if you haven't already, I'm gonna show you on the screen now. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. But if you are subscribed, go onto YouTube, go onto the DNJ Projects channel and you see that little bell notification, I want you to press it and then you will be notified so you will never miss a video. You'll be notified every time me and my dad and the DNJ Projects team upload a video. We want you to see the content that we're making. That's the whole point of making them, right? And to everyone wondering, Ta is okay. Miss, Mr. Sizzle is okay. He's not in too much pain. I believe he's okay. Morning. I'm still here. He's still I'm here. Cold now. Look, <laughs> after that, bit of that, that head was full. <laughs> but uh, he's all right, people. That is the main thing. Forget the tools, forget the job. He's okay. That's the main thing. My dad's in now. I've just loaded my dad up with two ton bags of hardcore. He's going to go deliver them. I'm going to do some quotes first of the swans here. No swans. No swans at all. Seeing as the video is now live, we've not got to worry about showing you this. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day at DJ Projects. I'm gonna take the wagon round to the front now for my dad. I'll jump on quotes. If my dad films this, I'll show you. If not, we'll catch back up on that job. So I don't know if my dad's been filming, but I'm back from quotes now. I'm just waiting for Taff so we can load some materials for that job that we're on. Um, when he gets back, we'll get cracking over there. But he's had to take the van that we normally use for fencing because we've had to have a new tire. Came in this morning, flat tire. Typically, eh? but what can you do? I guess these things do happen. But uh, let me just go over to the soil screener, give you another show. What do you think to the soil screen? I'm sure majority of you have already put that in the comments on Wednesday's video. If you haven't watched that, make sure you go and watch that. But yeah. It's a bit of a beast, it's quite tall. There she is, easy screen. Produces some amazing soil as you can see. Obviously like my dad's already mentioned on the previous video, use the screens to drop the smaller stuff, the bigger stuff. But it's a good bit of kit so far. Good bit of kit. Still no swans or ducks. Looks like the leans had a little bit of a tider. But they weren't me. <laughs> don't know what's happened maybe stuff just floating down the lean i'm not too sure obviously a lot of people keep saying oh go in the lean go in and clean it it's not that simple you can't just jump into the lean and start cleaning you've actually got to get permission so i've been told so anyway enough of me rambling we'll catch back up when i'm back on that job with taff we'll show you a before and what it's looking like now we'll start cracking on with some fencing so we're back we are back on site let me just remind you what this garden was looking like. As you can see, it had conifers both sides and the conifers on the left we've taken out and old fencing. And this is what it's looking like right now. Installed some more fencing like you saw on last Sunday's video. Had the hardcore down. Obviously we had our mishap, but everything's okay now. You're still alive, aren't you, Taff? The legend's still alive. He's still alive. But what we're gonna do, See this timber here? Because obviously, we're not digging down there now. Even though it's sort of out of our way, we're not messing around with anything like that no more. So that timber is going to be attached to this wall here, but in the corner. And then we're going to put our concrete post up against that, attach the concrete post to that, make sure everything is nice and solid. And then that fencing will obviously return all the way down there. We've just arrived. I've sent the measurement of this whole area to my dad. The width, the length, however you want to call it. And he may pick up the blocks right now because he's round the corner from where we're going to get the blocks from. 
so he's possibly going to pick up the blocks. I believe we're having a grey sort of colour. I'm not too sure, but once they come here, obviously I'll show you. So this is what we're dealing with. And that's deep enough, because I'm going nowhere near the <laughs> Oh, look at these fancy new t-shirts that Taff's got on. Got Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Make sure you follow us both on them was one right there. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. So then, as you can see, we're going to set that timber to roughly the same height of the concrete. If we have to nip a little bit more off, then obviously we will. But uh, we're going to sort that out, and then we're going to attach that to that wall. Need more off, mate, or? I don't think I can scrape this soil. It's only two inches deep. Yeah. Get SDS. So as you can see, we've got the timber in there. Now we're just gonna get the concrete post. Sinker in, and we're gonna concrete it all in there. We're gonna use a bag and a half there because it's actually quite deep. Bearing in mind the level's coming up a little bit here as well. So it's actually quite deep. And then if we feel like it still needs a screw or a bolt, obviously that's what we'll do. So we'll get the concrete in there now. Oi, that ain't too bad. Let's get a baton on there. Peak to peak. I've been taking it all day. Just about. I don't think you can grumble at that, can you? No, I don't. I just took a little bit of water in there and then... Uh... So we've managed to get one bag in there. Bit of water. It's coming along quite nice. And then what's going to happen... We're going to cut a gravel board down once we've took the measurement between them two and then cut no. so what we're going to do now <laughs> so what <laughs> yeah, i'll keep that in because that's what it's like when we're filming right um, so what we're going to do now we're going to take a measurement between the both two channels <laughs> and then cut two gravel boards to said measurement and then we're going to cut a panel the long one just there cut that down to size as well and then we're going to slide them all in through the gap there hopefully our heights are okay i believe they should be but um yes and once we've done that then we'll start working on here but right now take a measurement and we'll get this first gravel board in 
let's get that one in there now as well then. Not looking too bad that. Right, we're gonna cut the panel and then we're gonna get this one in. We've shown you how to cut a panel last time so we're not bothered this time. We'll just get her in and show you sliding. Well, hopefully this will fit. Yeah, so how's that looking for you? Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Right, whilst I was adjusting that panel, Taff has been busy. He's been digging holes. So then. With no electric. No electric. <laughs> so we're going to get that gravel board off. We're going to cut it to that panel size there, 53 inches, which will match this one. And then we're going to set the levels ready for that. So I was just about to cut that. The customer's come out with a nice tea. He's looking after his any taff. Oh, yeah. No biscuits. No, yet. just no. waiting on him, aren't we? <laughs> 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 he's off. What you can't see, the customer's ran off to go grab him. But uh, no, he's looking after us. And this customer as well, Mel, he is a subscriber. This job has come via YouTube. He watches us on the YouTube. He likes what he sees. So that's why he's had us here. He's not too far from our yard anyway. So it makes sense for someone like us to do it. But we got this job from YouTube and it's not looking too shabby. So we'll have these tees and we'll start cracking on with that, with that gravel board there. So we've got the concrete in. I'm just gonna set that now. Got two bags in there, nice and strong. That's just arrived as well with a few tools for the block paving. So obviously we're just gonna leave them there for the time being. And whilst my dad's here, he's got some sand there as well. So before he can drop that off, this needs to be whacked. Using that whacker plate right there, that big boy. It's a big one. I'll definitely get it down. So what I'll do, set you up for a time lapse. Me and Taff will continue with this hole here, ready for the gate. And my dad will start whacking this. So I'm back on site now. Things will start progressing. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, before we get whacked, I'm just making sure all my levels are right. And I've done it to a string line. Because we've got a slight camber on it. And the water's going to flow from left to right. We're going to put it into this soil here. We don't need an acre on this one because all, it's all going to soak away into that flower bed down there. Your first point, you're fixed by this point here. This point is not going to change. So that's your first datum point. And then we're fixed by this drain here. So all we've done, we've strung a line from the fixed point at the edging over there to this drain. Gives us our height here. And then we've done exactly the same over here and then we've put marks on the posts and that gives us more datum points and then all we have to do is string lines from here just hold on here Taff a minute and you bring it across until it touches that line and then you know the height from this distance to that distance and that's all you do all the way along and you make sure you've got enough room for your block and your sand, which we allow about 75 mil, 80 mil, 
So let's get this whacked and then we'll put some more lines back up. I don't know if you've just seen that in the time lapse, but I'm sure Taff has got a massive problem with me. It about hit me on the head with a level and my screen off ball. But I won't let it phase me, I'm gonna crack on and get something done. So we're on to the last little bit of a uh, whackering right now. And as you can see, the rain has started to fall. It was forecast. <laughs> but like my dad says, if you can't hear him, we're not made of sugar, we're not melt. We'll continue the best we can. Because we need to get that sand off there and on here. As soon as we do it, we'll catch back up. by the time lapse we've done a rough level and then what you do next you whack it and compact it and then we'll put some bars in set the levels if need be put some more sand in get to the right level whack it again and then we screen <coughs> off and when we screen off it'll be absolutely rock solid so you literally be able to walk on it and not leave a footprint but we need some more sand for there and more there but we're going to whack this See if he's just going to drop some more now. They drop the remainder there, but first drop, get that whacked. my dad or anyone's mentioned that I've come back to the yard because I needed Jamie to give me a hand with this big boy here rather than take the blocks off one by one or by using the clam of the grab we're gonna try and use this uh, block grab here that's what it's designed for we've actually got three so we thought we may as well bring one I also came and got the small whacker plate as well because the other one we're using it's a little bit heavy and it's sinking the sand so we'll get back on site and we'll catch back up so as you can see, we're back. Dad's back from getting the blocks. I'm back from this. Taff's been um, screening over there, you see. <laughs> so we're all ready to start cracking on again. Dad's just picking up a little bit of rubbish there. Gonna chuck it on there. And then we're gonna get this bad boy off.
So these are the blocks. This is what we're going to be using. Like these? Like a grey blue charcoal. Five packs. Don't think we'll use them all. But it'll be very close, I believe. Right, so we've whacked all that. Now all we've done, we've set a screening bars. All these are conduit. These are just conduit bars. We set them. So you set them to your height. So that's 50 mil from that mark to that conduit. The same in that corner, the same there. And then you work it off that string line there. So we've worked out these are all right. So what we do, we fill the sand up in the middle and we give it a good whack again until we get a nice solid base. So we'll do that and then we'll catch back up. So we'll give it another whack. And you can see the screening bars have disappeared into the sand. And all we do, we pull off. So this screening bar touches these conduit bars. And if there's a slightest, if it's a gap underneath, like there is there where Taff's gonna put his hand, show, show him Taff. We put a shovel full of sand there along that bar and we pull it all the way along. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick you on a time lapse while we do this. working and look what they're doing ice, ice cream man's been oh, look yeah. he's looking after him <laughs> stop your problem getting the electric shots there you go son <laughs> love you cheers Dave <laughs> can hear me but i'll talk loud so all we're done we set that bar in there tash just giving it a quick whack and then we do exactly the same as i could did over there we put the bar across a bit of sand underneath the bar if it needs and drag it across when we get to here all we do with that bar, we pull it across. Oh, it's like I'm pinching it. We pull it down, and we're going to work to this level down here. But when we get to that, I'll show you. So we've screened off, all we need to do now as we work our way along is fill that channel in with sand and pat it down. We're putting a header course all the way around and then we're doing brick bond, that pattern in the insert because it looks nice and modern. So we'll do a bit more and then we'll catch back up. So there you then. So what we've done, we've laid one pack. So that is a whole pack. So we've got the stretchy bond there with the headers going around. Because it's a solid colour, you can't really see it. And then we'll put a straight edge up there. And then what we'll do, we'll string a line tomorrow to make sure they are perfect. But when you are laying blocks, these should all line up. You shouldn't go out. If you go in out, there's something wrong. They're not tight enough. And when you are putting blocks down, they need to be nice and tight. But yeah, they go down really quick. All the prep work's the hardest bit of block paving. Once all the prep work's done, and the sand and the hard cores at the right levels, what you need to be, it's basically just putting blocks down. The quicker you put the blocks down, the quicker they will get put down, and the job will be done. We're hoping to get all the blocks laid tomorrow, a few of the cuts and then Wednesday this, this job will be complete apart from the gates which Stevie's going to hang. So that's another day at d &J. We'll see you in the morning.
Morning, Tuesday morning. I'm on the grab, but first, let's get that panel master moved to where I'm stood. So here we have it. It's in position, wants a little tiny bit of adjustment, but this is where the panel master will be living. The D&J panel machine. What have we got over there now? Loads of storage space. So we'll tidy up them bits over there and these, they can all get moved over. And then we'll get some new racking for there, there, and some here. Like I say, we're gonna get some racking for over there to match that one over there. Now well, that's done, I can crack on with my day. Right then, I'm back in the grab now. I've loaded up six tonne of roadstone loose. We're gonna tip that off and then come back to the yard and grab some of our nice screened topsoil. 10 tonne of that going out and a bag to pick up. So let's get these done. That's that stone all tipped off. Let's get back to that yard. That's 10 ton, all loaded up and ready to go. So let's get it delivered. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. 10 ton drop for this job. Down there, just see him. I used to work with that lad down there, he's doing really well for himself. So, let's get to the next one. Here we are, nice easy one, all piled up. I'm gonna stick you on for a time lapse for this one. nice and clean disappointed in myself caused a little golfers divot there but that'll grow back that's all on so let's get gone so good morning me and taff are back on the job now back on the block paving job my dad's just started doing a few more grabs if he's filmed any you would have saw them before this but um yeah we're back on the block paving still looking as good as ever i'll just give you a little show we did speak to the customer yesterday and he was going out, so this is why the footprints are here. But we said it's no problem, we'll sort it out today. Looking to get this all pretty much blocked today as well. Not looking too shabby indeed. You're not getting done standing like this, so uh, let's get cracked on.
what do you think so far? Do you like what you're seeing? It's not looking too shabby. As you can see, only took two minutes, pretty much, to put three rows down. It's not looking too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Because the fencing had to run, rather than, if that's straight, it had to run like that. Obviously, the border there isn't as square as this border, because the fencing is running off. So there'll be a customization of the border on the blocks running all the way up there. That's why I tasked left them out for the time being. So when my dad gets here, they can customize it between themselves and see how they want to do it. As you can see, my dad has arrived. He's done his grabs for the day. He's just one more, but he's got plenty of time to come and join us. There was just a little divot there that we checked with a level. So rather than leave it, obviously we're rectifying. We're just working our way up to underneath that bay window now. And then obviously it will be cuts down that side and the cuts down this side. Because obviously if you remember, that brick wall is just behind the fence. And we were asked to go from that corner in front of that brick wall. But yeah, not looking too shabby. So I've laid that, Taff's lifted them blocks there, took that, that dip out. If you leave too much of a dip, when you whack it, all it'll do, it'll create a bigger dip. You're all right with a few mil, when it starts going to about 10 mil and that, you have to lift it. And obviously when you're on it all the time, you can't see that. So when I've come, I can see it straight away. These lads won't be able to see it because obviously your eyes go funny with this because you're down on your knees and you're just watching it. So what we've done, we've ran the blocks all the way to the building now, to the porch and to the bay window. And then all you do, this is for ease and quickness. Bit of a top tip. You put your, your border on like that, as far as you can all the way along and then you mark up there you pull all these out pull them out and cut line will all be along there you take them out cut them still so put them back and then your headers go back in then but we'll show you that in more detail when we start doing it but me and steve is just going to nip off now and do a grab because he needs to back me into this this yard we'll do that and then we're back and hopefully taff would have got majority of it in now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Taff's going to have his snap and me and Steve's going to shoot over there As you can see Taff's been busy Me and my dad's just arrived and Taff's managed to sink some cuts in there Worked his way all around there as well Looking very nice I've just got to here He's just on a few more cuts you see They're just putting in a few cuts now don't think we'll get all of this done today, but as always tomorrow. Oh. Customers just coming out with a cup of tea as well. That's always a bonus. Remember, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel. <laughs> but uh, 
Oh, it's coming along. So that's another day for D and J. Just the last few things to do tomorrow. Bit of haunching up with concrete. A few more cuts, working all the way down there. Not looking too shabby. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning and it's an early one. As you can see, it's still almost dark. iPhone's making it look lighter than it is. First delivery of the day is at the D and J Projects yard. We're in the sharp sand bay. And we're having 20 ton of sharp sand delivered on this big wagon right here. Second delivery of the day for d &J Projects. This one's going out. Loaded up with some concrete and panels. Taff's got the other half of this delivery. So me and Taff are going to head off out to Hino, which is Derby Way, for this delivery. So we're here. We just started to unload. Putting the post six down there. Got some on that van as well. But it's quite far out. It's one a little bit further than we thought. Ain't that right, Taff? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yes, let's get uh, let's get this unloaded. So here we have it, all delivered. The lads have turned up now. They've took some down the back as well. It's not very often you get a couple from the customer when you're just delivering. So appreciate that. Back to the yard we go. All right, so the deliveries are done. Me and Taff are now on the block paved driveway job. Taff set up some cuts. They're ready to be cut now. They've all been marked. You see those white lines? They're all marked. So they fit there. We've got the mixer off today as well. Got some cement ballast. We're going to use a four in one mix to orange up around the edges where it's needed to make sure that these blocks do not move, make them nice and strong. And then this job is coming to a close. We're almost getting there, aren't we, Taff? Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Obviously. Up, whack it, can't tarmac yep. Tomorrow, so it's all done. Yeah, so the whacking and the sand. And the tarmac, that'll be done tomorrow because we can't haunch up the sides and then get the whacker plate round because they're just going to wiggle and move and come out of place. So we don't want that. We want this oh. to be nice. What do you think to this? Make sure you let us know down in the comments below. Obviously, at the end of the job, when it is fully completed, I will show you another before and then an after straight after so you can really see the difference that we've done to this job. But yeah, let's get some cuts and some mixers on and we'll catch up in a little while. So I've got another mix. Not too dry, not too wet. And I've dug some of this sand out here so that the concrete has got a nice big bed. And when I push it up and squish it against the blocks, there's more substance there rather than just using, I don't know, I'm not too sure what it is. A few inches. I've gone down quite far there. I want to make it as strong as possible. And I'll try and do this with one hand. But basically, I'm getting something like that. Hopefully this don't go on the blocks. And I'm dropping it in there. And when I've got enough, I'm just pushing it up, pressing it down nice and hard. I'm not saying already, it's going quite hard. 
I'm just smoothing it in. Making sure that I'm below the blocks quite a bit, not too much, because obviously these have all got to be whackered down and they may drop a little bit. But at least if I know I'm going quite far down with this cement, it's gonna be a nice strong bed ready to hold these blocks in. Simple stuff really. The reinforcements have arrived. Taft's just working his way through these final ones just here, you see. And now my dad's backed. We noticed that this one had a dip in there earlier. We actually noticed it yesterday, so he was always going to get to it. But seeing as it's the beginning of the foot traffic, decided we're going to wait until the last bit. I've just put another mix in now for my dad because we're going to concrete these ones here, these soldiers, all the way up there. Because it's going to be hit the most, going to make these nice and solid. Also, I'm not too sure if we mentioned, but my dad's going to key in some tarmac here as well to make it a bit more presentable. I believe we'll be doing that tomorrow but for the time being just setting these blocks on a concrete bed right now so just having a drink <laughs> yeah so customers just made us a, a tea and then the neighbor which we're on now asked if we'd take away the soil that's here she's going to dispose of the wood herself just as if we'll get the uh, the soil. Dad's put the grab there. He can reach around about where that shuffle is. So obviously we've got to pull that to around about there and then my dad will be able to grab it. This neighbor as well has actually applied for a drop crossing. Um, I believe she's been accepted, but she's also then asked us to see if we can do the process and then obviously the drop crossing for her, because obviously as some of you may know, we do do that sort of stuff and obviously it's easier for us to get their permission than the customer themselves sometimes but yeah we're getting rid of this as well now it's that all taken away now timber's just there like we've been asked as you can see fence is absolutely battered on the bottom it's a good job we've put one on the opposite side we were asked to leave that there originally when we did the fencing i guess if we knew this was going no one actually knew that we could have took that down as well but oh well as always next time Before anyone moans as well. It's not staying like that. It's getting tarmacked somewhere around here. But it's a nice little touch. This job's coming along nicely as well. I think I've said that before. As you can see, cuts are pretty much all done. Customer asked us to do that bit as an add-on. He wants that as soil. So obviously we've haunched it up to keep the blocks in nice and locked. And then we're gonna put soil in there for his conifers. That's what he wants us to do. We've got gates to install, going to be as close to the ground as we can there and a little bit off the ground there. That gate is also going to be longer than this gate. That's what we've been asked to do as well. They're going to be tongue and groove, so they're not going to match the beverage, but they're going to be tongue and groove bow top. Again, that's what we've been asked to do, so that's what we're going to do. It's going to look quite smart as well, we believe. But yeah, blocks are coming on. Kiln drying tomorrow, whack a plate, knock them down and it will look not too shabby tomorrow. Damn shame about these leaves that keep coming off that bloody tree. Keep sweeping them away, but they keep returning that time of year though. So that's another day for D&J. Not too much film today, but we'll catch back up tomorrow when this will be pretty much finished. We'll see you soon. Good morning, you've guessed it. I'm in the grab. It's Thursday morning. Something a little bit different today. We are delivering four bags of aggregates and topping up with some bags from BP Paving. And then we're going over to tip that. 
then what we're gonna do, we're working our way through the jobs we've completed but need tarmac. So we've got enough jobs now to get a few ton of tarmac and go around and complete them. But guess who's with me? Dream Team is back again. <laughs> also, remember, DJ projects at the checkout to save some money on some wire food. It's not a sponsored video, but go on, go and grab yourself one of these because they're actually very nice. Actually perfect for your morning kick. We have them in the morning because we don't get a chance to have breakfast. You know what our schedule's like. And then we have a normal meal at 12 o'clock. Well, between 12 and two, a normal meal. And then when we get home, we have our dinner, but our good ladies make for us. So with that said, let's get cracked no, on. No. Oh, I forgot. Steve's gonna show you the merch. We've had our two jumpers delivered today. So he's just gonna show you. That's the white one there with the blue wheelbarrow saying not too shabby. I've got a royal blue one just underneath that. So me and dad are gonna try them on. Probably take a few pictures. We'll show you the pictures right now. Yeah, not too shabby. Merch is coming very, very, very soon. I promise you, it's coming. It is within weeks, not months, literal weeks. We'll make, we'll make sure of that. So it'll be all ready for Christmas so everyone can get their D&J Projects merch or their fix for their partners or children or family. So let's get cracked on, get these bags delivered and take you along the way. So there we have it, just over the fence. Steve is just unlocking it now. So let's get them two bags delivered. On to the next. Just before we go and deliver those other bags, yeah. see my dad in the back talking to the gentleman. I posted on Instagram that our first weekly video had just hit 100,000 views. That was the first video, which is uh, a picture of it on the screen now. First weekly video that we did for DJ Projects all the way back in like February, seven months ago, I believe. We're on that same road here. It was this one there. I'm not get up too close and personal. The tarmac was already there. We did tarmac in the back. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go and watch it. We did all the sleeper work, all those there. They were just old wobbly slabs. Redone all of the block pavers up there and up this side there. Did those ones right there, those sleepers. It was a good job. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go back and give that video a and That was the whole purpose of why we did YouTube in the first place, to look back at jobs in five years time. But well, that one's only seven months, so go and give that one a watch and we'll go deliver these bags. So here we are, just delivered the two ton of building sand. Chaps get into it straight away, no messing around. Now me and my dad are off to go and pick up some rubble bags to top up the wagon, because we've got a little bit of rubble on there now, so we're just gonna top up the wagon and then we're gonna go to the tip with it. So as you can see, we've got half the wagon, a little bit more actually, free. So we need that bag, that bag, that bag, and that bag, and a couple posts on here just to top it up a little bit, because we're going to the tip anyway to get rid of that. What's the point of getting charged the same amount for a half load as a full load? So we'll get all of these on here right now. Full load. And we'll have to take that panel off when we're tipping because we can't tip wood and hardcore at the same place. So let's get there. So here we are at Oakfield. That's a subscriber just there. Tipping off just there. We've took the rubbish off that we can't tip. Gonna get that there, and then we'll be out of here. And as you can see, we're at the tarmac plant. Got the back ready, greased it up. Let's get some tarmac. Oh, you should know where we are. And we need some tarmac. As you can see, it's more of a lump at the moment. You can see where the tarmac is at the good level there. And obviously that would be the right level. It's like divoted here. So that all needs to be sorted. So that car can get on that drive. So that's the worst off to the next one. We're at the next one, and does anyone recognize the job just from this? If you do, and you've guessed the decking job. I'm gonna say the decking job. The big, 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 big decking job picture on the screen right there yeah we always said to this customer we would never leave it like that 
And now we've done a tarmacking job, we can tarmac this over. So again, rather than just tarmac that bit there, gonna key it out all correctly, make it nice and neat, and get that one tarmacked with these magic fingers. Nice and pretty, a lot better. On to the next one. Not too shabby. As you can see, we're back on the block paved drive. Just about to sink some kiln dry sand in. I'll show you the bag of the stuff we're using. Not that one. There we go. Dry paper sand. So we're using that. Don't think we've got enough, but we've got plenty at the yard because we've got to come back anyway because we've got to hang these gates. But also while we are here, we're gonna be soaring out there, following that line all the way up there, getting those blocks on Big Red so they'll be out of the way. And then in there as well, line to there, all the way down there. So that's gonna have a nice fresh line of tarmac, make that look in not too shabby indeed. And talking about not too shabby, next week, Wednesday, the store for the merchandise will be live. We are 100% sure on that. So everyone, it's payday weekend coming up. I know it is, because I used to get paid at the weekend myself. So at the end of the month, save a few pennies because we're expecting some people to buy some merchandise. Not too shabby indeed. No, but all jokes aside, if you don't buy anything, it does not matter. All of the support means so much to us anyway. But this is pretty much all you've got to do with the block pavers. Once they're done, just need to sweep the sand in. See how they've got gaps here? We don't want gaps. You want to fill them with the sand and that locks them in place as well. As you can see, it's going to need quite a bit of sand and Taft's arrived with the block grab. So I will set you up for a time lapse now. We'll get those blocks on. We'll get the tarmac done. And we'll get a bit of this sand slipped in. So a bit more tarmacking for this trap. Just needs to tidy a few things up. But other than that, this one is pretty much done. Need a few more bits of kiln dry sand. But we are coming back on Saturday to finish this job. Make sure it's nice and complete for this customer. Need to put soil down there, remember. So when we come back to this job, we shall show you. But you will see the full finished product this week. Who remembers this one from the video just gone? We didn't keep the not too shabby in there. We didn't know if the customer would like that. But let's get that into a tarmac strip. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. We've been busy. We've been very busy. It's just starting to get dark as well. I'm in a bad book to my missus because it's another late night. So if you're watching, I'm sorry, baby. But yeah, back to the yard we go. Good morning. It's a busy one. Daddy's just put in three ton of roadstone onto the back of Big Red using Little Red. Oh, also, so, so, so many names for the screener. Marina Blue, Tina the screener, Big Blue, Shaky Stevens. Oh, so many, so, so many. And that's exactly what I was after. People getting involved, people putting the comments down. But anyway, we will get to the name picking, just not today. So Dad's loading that up, he's got to put a sharp sandbag on. What he's loading up now is roadstone, so rather than it being bagged, it's being loose. So he can either tip that off or use the grab to get that off. I've got a delivery down there, it's only a small one. And then I'm taking a little bit of stone as well. So I believe I'll take you along 
for that delivery. My dad maybe might take you along for that delivery right there. We're not going to be on the block paver job today, but you are going to see it done this week. We're going to go there tomorrow, that being Saturday. It's Friday today. We're actually filming a video for next week, Wednesday's video. So, something else to look forward to. But we'll get all loaded up and then we'll catch back up. Over here, customers ask kindly if we can get it as close to that garage as possible. But that's next door, so I'm not going to lean it on there. I'm going to put it right there. So I've dropped off those materials and now it's off to the next one. A quick visit today at Basenfield Woodyard. Just dropped off that bag there and now it's back to the yard. So I'm back at the yard as you can see. In this weather, it's not, it's not too good for a dig out job. So what we're thinking we might do, we might forget the dig out job for today and we might take the van and take the gates that we've made for the block paved drive job and go hang them instead um because it's just not ideal with it raining like that it's not super heavy it's going to leave a right mess so we're thinking of pushing that across tomorrow that being saturday but uh yeah i'll let you know when i know so i've met up with my dad he's getting rid of this load it's currently hitting me in the face so i'll get out of the way so we're at the tip getting rid of this and then we will be heading back to the yard picking up those gates and we'll go and install those gates because it's quite big I'm not really looking forward to it because I know it's going to be very awkward but yeah. we'll get it done and we'll catch up when we get there so we've come back here from the tip we've got everything loaded got the gates got this panel so what are we doing well if you eagle eye viewers you may notice these are four before posts and we don't normally use four before posts for tongue and groove gates but this customer wasn't going to have tongue and groove gates, so it was going to have feather edge. Feather edge a little bit lighter, so you get away with a 4 before post. But then the customer decided he wasn't going to have equal gates. He was going to have one bigger, one smaller. Because one's going to be a pedestrian gate, which he uses, and one's going to be a big opener. So that chucked a bit of a spanner in the works. So what me and Stevie had decided to do Rather than dig all this beautiful work up and swap the post for 6x6 or 5x5, I'm going to show you how to deal with this situation to strengthen these 4x4 wooden posts with a simple little fix. You might be able to work out what we've done from time lapse, but I'm going to talk you through it anyway. What we've done, you might recognise these, these are off the drop bolts. You don't always use these only when you're putting them in wood, so we save these. So what we've done, we've dropped one of them in there so it's nice and flush. Then some threaded bar straight through this post, a nut this side and a nut that side with a washer. Yep. We drew the hole in the post in the middle, because remember it's got four rebar in, so we've gone straight through the middle, and then we've got a nut that side. We've clamped a post here, with a bolt either side, and then that. We tighten this side up, which in turn, will make this post absolutely rock solid. Because if it's gonna go anywhere, it's gonna flex at the top. And as you see, it's not gonna flex anything there. So that's made that post nice and sturdy, so we've anchored it off the concrete post. So you can see with this one, we've got a little bit of movement. And that's what that one did over there because it was freestanding. This is also freestanding, but what we tend to do is put a concrete and a timber here 
we couldn't do that there i can't remember if i showed you in the video but like there was an electric cable there hence why this post isn't all the way over there i'll explain so we put that post there where it was gonna go and we was gonna have a concrete here we could not do that because there was an electric cable no way near deep enough and then a gas pipe right there um a yellow one running all the way up there and then there was another electric cable just there so we had to customize a little bit there hence why we've not put a concrete one there for extra support but if you do have a concrete one here this is how you support it so all you do you go from the back of the post in the channel making sure you don't hit the four rebar and then all you do be no crack or anything here it'll be perfect just keep drilling through it won't come out this side either because you don't need to go that far out so there you can see it's in there solid now <laughs> and we'll just show you because you saw you saw how the timber post moved we'll just show you again when my dad giving it a wobble solid that's what we're after Bit high again because the drive there's so many angles on this drive this drive all slopes towards that hedgerow there for drainage that's why we didn't have no drainage in it it all slopes that way so in turn these have got to be level so the gap down there is higher purely the reason if you fold it back and fasten it back here and brings this car on this one's going to be the pedestrian gate, which opens and closes all the time. The other gate will mainly stop closed unless he wants to bring his car on and off. So let's get the difficult gate on. Gates are finished and now this job is completed. I have to watch my clicky fingers because otherwise stuff disappears. <laughs> so what have we done with this job? In my corner we'll be before now. Let's see this has been a total transformation of this garden. We've replaced all the hedgerow with fencing and installed some lovely bow top tongue and groove gates. Reason we've had one gate larger than the other is so this customer can close this one all the way and open this one. And it folds back and he can get a full car on here. Even with the car on, you'll still be able to close these back up. I don't know if you remember, all this was a hedge. There was a bit of a hedge here and it returned there with a bit of no man's land here. And that takes us onto the paving. What have we done with the paving? So what we've had, we've put a dry line 50 block paver in, 50 mil of block paver, which is quite adequate for domestic use. And we've gone for a brick bond. Nice modern look. The customer didn't want any different colour, he just wanted a solid colour because he had pink pavers here and golden gravel there and it was a bit of a mismatch with colours and everything else so he's gone for a more modern look with a grey block paver. It's all on a slope as well so the camera won't pick it up very well, it's all on a slope. The reason we didn't put no drainage in on this one is because we don't need any drainage on it. It all flows into that hedgerow there which the customer is fully aware. And we're gonna come back next week 
when the weather's a bit better, we're gonna put a little bit of soil down there and we're gonna get our leaf blower and blow the excess sand off for him. We've got some still there. Once we've done this video, we're gonna brush it all around again. And also, yes, you can't see the angle so much on the camera, but if you have a look at that gate just there, you can see we've judged it to perfection right there with the gate. And as you can see, it gradually gets wider when you go to that gate. We did think about sloping the bottom of these gates, but we won't be able to. I'll shut the gates and we'll show you. It would be nice to angle them down, but you imagine if this is angled down like that and you open it up, you're gonna catch because it goes like that. But me and Stevie are really happy with this one. They've made a fantastic job, Taff and Stevie, at the fencing and the paving. Also, I'll just come on to it as well. You always moan when we do a six foot bay and a three foot bay, for example. I've evened them out this time, so hopefully you're happy with that. Took your considerations in the comments and has made both these panels equal. So I hope it clears up some of your OCDs out there. We've kept these ones nice and level as well. The gravel boards are double there to retain the soil from next door. Didn't need it there, hence why we went with the one gravel board option. But that completes this job. So what do you think to it? Let us know in the comments. Let us know if you do it different as well. We do do it different. We do concrete the edges in, but on this job we didn't. We, all we did was concrete that edge and this edge. And that brings me to outside. So what we did here, it was all up and down all over the place. Rather than use bag tarmac, because I can't stand bag tarmac, because my background's engineering, civil engineering, tarmacking, and all the rest of it. I don't really like it. So what we do, we always save a few jobs and tell the customers we will be back to tarmac it. Whether it's two weeks, three weeks, we will come back. So what we do, we get a couple of tonne of tarmac and we go around the whole jobs as you've seen from yesterday. So yeah, that's complete, sir. This job's complete. I'm really happy with these gates. Jamie's made a fantastic job of these and we've made an even better job fitting them. <laughs> <laughs> so that concludes this week at DNJ. I hope you liked what you've seen in this week. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're brand new around here because we've got a new goal of 50,000. So that's a wrap for me and Steve. We'll see you in the next one. See you later.